Welcome to Henderson Today. I'm Rebecca Teal. I'm Haven Hughes, and here's your ready news. Colin Kaepernick was the quarterback for the San Francisco 49ers. He was their quarterback from 2011 to 2016. During his time, he was most known for protesting injustice by refusing to stand for the national anthem. Kaepernick recently became the face for the company Nike. On social media, many people have been burning Nike's shoes and boycotting the company. Only days after Nike released these changes, Nike stocks has dropped drastically. How will this affect Nike sales and will Kaepernick's face remain? Here's Rebecca Teal with your Ready Sports Update. Hey Henderson, here's your Ready Sports Update. The men's golf team is participating in the NSU Classic on Monday, September 17th through Tuesday, the September 18th in Tulequa, Oklahoma. Times are to be determined. The first volleyball battle of the Ravine match is Thursday, September 20th at 6.30 p.m. at the Duke Wells Gymnasium. The Ready Swim and Dive team is having its red slash gray inner squad on Friday, September 21st and Saturday the 22nd at the Wells Pool at 9 a.m. The Ready's football team's family day is against Swasu Saturday, September 22nd at Carpenter Haygood Stadium. Kickoff is set for 6 p.m. That's all for sports this week. It's time to ball a brawl. 28 high school athletes were suspended from several games after a dramatic play. A fight broke out among Drew Central and Hampton athletes on the field. Fans of the schools also joined in the fight. Police broke up the altercation and some were even arrested. In addition to the suspension, the game was ruled no contest. For Henderson Today, I'm Christian Pierce. Hello, I'm Tierra Burgess and this is Henderson Today. Aren't you tired of trying to do your homework and getting nowhere because you don't understand the material? Sometimes teachers are asking us to do things that we don't know how to do. Something that could be a big help, especially to you broke college students, is free tutoring. This is the perfect way for you to go from that C plus to an outstanding A. If this sounds like it could help you, then go there now. They are located in room 125 of the Huey Library. And for more information, you can check the tutoring schedule that has been emailed to you by Veronica Salazar. Hey y'all, it's Kara Amato on What Grinds My Gears. Today we are going to moan and groan about clothing sizes and thrift store shopping. Now, clothing sizes are a huge deal to girls. Tell me why a size 6 at one store is a size 13 in another. How is that fair? Are you trying to make me cry in a closet with a tub of ice cream? Because if so, it's working. I can wear a size 10 in one store and a 16 in another, and that's several sizes up. And you wonder why girls complain so much. It's because none of our clothes match our sizes. We have to wear different sizes and cut the tags out of them. Which reminds me of our next topic, thrift shopping. Why are we so ashamed of it? I can buy 25 things for $45 while your one shirt costs the same amount. And why do people judge Goodwill shopping? Last time I checked, all of our mamas shopped at Gap when we were younger. So in my opinion, we're all the same. Ain't nothing wrong with saving your money, and you ain't super special. It's okay to save money and thrift shop. Now stop being so judgy and go shop. Next week, we're going to complain about why people, people's emotional support animal is none of your business. This is Kara Amato, and that's what grinds my gears. Welcome back to Modern Classics. Feel the need for some cinema magic this weekend? Well, you can definitely go see some new stuff if you want to. This weekend, we've got an acclaimed, if controversial, documentary, a dismally reviewed drama, and a gothic horror children's film. So fill up the flask, hop on the moped, and head to the cinema this week on Modern Classics. Fahrenheit 11.9 is Michael Moore's newest documentary. The filmmaker, who famously predicted that Trump would be president before most of America had even considered the possibility, directed this film that chronicles the thoughts and feelings of America in one of the most divisive times in recent memory. With a 94% rating on Rotten Tomatoes, Fahrenheit 11.9 looks to be an engrossing, if controversial, documentary. Next up, we've got The House with the Clock on Its Walls, which stars Jack Black and Kate Blanchett. It's based on a popular children's novel and looks to be just light enough on the thrills for children of all ages. While no reviews have been released as of yet, expect this one to be fun enough for both children and adults to sit through, even if it isn't the most highbrow thing you've ever seen. The final wide release of the week is This Is Us creator Dan Fogelman's directorial film Life Itself. With a cast including Oscar Isaac, Olivia Wilde, and Annette Bening, this one should have been a surefire hit, especially given the director's landmark television show. That will most likely not be the case with this one, however. With a dismal Rotten Tomatoes score of 10% and little word of mouth, don't expect life itself to have much life at the box office. Well, there you go. Although there seemingly isn't much fresh material coming out this weekend, you may find something to enjoy. 
And with that, this has been Modern Classics with your host, Pete Tubbs. See you next time. Thanks for watching Henderson Today. I'm Haven Hughes. And I'm Rebecca Teal. Find us on YouTube at HSU TV.